so welcome back uh, to this video series again where we are creating the voting decentralized application um, now it's the time to create the HTML front-end files and then we are going to create the JavaScript vanilla JavaScript associated with those HTML so first of all we are going to create index.html uh, like which has where we can add our vote and then there is a file list voters dot html where we are going to list all the available voters no sorry the candidates uh, in a table and then there is also a functionality in this page where we can actually um, add a candidate and then we can see in the real time if the candidate has been updated so we are going to start uh, from here this is um, like this is the most boring thing actually I want to do so uh, I'm sorry for that but I just copied and pasted all this script all these uh, styling and these uh, script source from my previous projects and for uh, main.js we can create it because I don't want to write everything from like scratch and like do this because it will take a lot of time so instead of this thing I want to focus on the functionality of application and uh, that's how we can do this so first of all we can say div and we can say the class of this div is navbar so we are going to create a navigation bar and again this is html css stuff so i i don't bother uh, just copying and pasting it so let's copy and paste it so I, I just don't want to spend a lot of time here so this is just a navigation bar and then we have this div uh, where it is going to say that welcome to the decentralized voting application and uh, okay so here we are going to create a button so let's create it so let's say it's a button uh, we have on click the function will be connect mask connect metamask and here we can say it's connect metamask and then we have a simple p a paragraph with the id of with the id of metamask notification it is going to update if the metamask is connected or not and then after that we have a div of class container and first of all we have a span vote here and then we are going to have an input of type number the id of this input is vote and placeholder is add index of the voter this input is going to take the uh, index of the voter and then we are going to add a button and on click is add vote we are going to write all these functions in our main javascript file but first let's create the most boring part of this project which is html and then we have let's say id of candidate and uh, okay so this is finished and then what we can do is we can have another div where we are going to click uh, say it's a button and the on click is vote status so it is going to give us the voting status and we can say it's check voting status and after this button we can create 2p 2p means two paragraph uh, the id is uh, status and another id is time 
so these are two paragraphs so in this status we are going to say either it's a true or false like the voting is open or finished and then this time it's the remaining time so we are going to click on this function and the function is going to update these values so our html is almost ready so what we can do is we can say node index.js so the server is running we can go here localhost 3000 okay so we have this connect metamask function then we can add a vote here and we can check the voting status and the list voters.html has nothing inside so we are just going to write list of voters I, I'm just going to copy and paste things here and right here in the body we are going to change so uh, we have the this will be same like connect metamask we are going to just remove it the nav bar will be same connect metamask will be same and uh, here it's going to be changed uh, it's it's uh, you remember in the backend server we have created this add candidate so now we are going to call it from this html file so we are going to create we are going to create a div and its class is container we are going to create a form action is slash what is the action add candidate the action is why it is not working add candidate and let's go here and the form the method is post no the method is post action is this and enc type is multi party form data and in the form we first have a span add candidate here and then we have an input of type text the name of this input is vote we are going to name it vote because it is going to take this value this vote from the request dot body so we need to make sure we use the right name vote and let's say the place oh, place placeholder is add name of the candidate candidate and then we have an input of type submit input type submit and value will be add candidate so the name of this input type submit will be add candidate so our form is ready let's go and see go to list voter we have this add candidate we are going to adjust its width no problem we have this add candidate now we need to remove this check voting status and we need to put a table here so let's go here and uh, yeah okay so after this just remove it let's create a div and we can say we are going to put a button and on click will be we are going to write all these functions later get all candidates and it's the button is going to list all the candidates and then we are going to add a p with id is equals to p3 which is going to tell the uh, it's going to uh, like it fetch or what is the status of this fetch request and then what we can do is we can we can create a simple id of voting status mm. We, we will see later it's not a problem 
and then we are going to create a table where we are going to create div table id is equals to my table it's same like my previous project thead tr th1 its index and then in the second it will be candidate name and finally candidate votes so let's go here okay so we have first of all we are going to connect metamask then we have this add candidate then list all candidates and when we are going to press this button it's going to create this uh, table and this input type text let's create no let's say it's 100% no not 10 100 okay so now the name of candidate will be here and then add candidate and list all candidates so now our html is almost finished and now we are going to start writing our code in main.js so thank you for watching this video we will write this main.js in the next video